Hey YouTube, hope you're well. I've just actually done a really nice intro to this video where I unpackaged this package and told you all about what was going on in today's video uh, that I'm filming, but the GoPro wasn't uh, wasn't recorded. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to open uh, a beer and pour that, uh, have a couple of sips, and then run back through it. So cheers, guys. Mm. That's perfect. Right. Okay, then. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, or today, is I'm going to service these um, these pedals. I'm actually going to replace the parts, the innards within these, uh, and also some of the external gear that you get with this kit. I bought this kit from Chain Reaction Cycles. It was about 20 quid. Um, you get a pair of bearings um a rubber seal some bushings and these uh new retaining bolts with some nice fresh loctite on there you get these sort of uh stomp pads or wear plates and all the appropriate screws for those and then you get a new set of pins with the uh appropriate washers for your particular set up so um Real basic tools you're going to need. You're going to need a 9mm uh, socket, uh, preferably a small one like that because it needs to fit in uh, to the end there when you take that retaining screw out. To take that retaining screw out, you're going to need uh, a 6mm Allen key. Um, one of the reasons that I, um, that I want to uh, uh, service these and replace things is that bushing. There's a bushing this end and there's a um, a bearing this end is really worn. You, you can hear the play there and it's just irritating when you're riding, you know, you can feel a little bit of wobble. Um, the other thing is, is these are getting quite worn, as you can see, and um, they just need a bit of TLC just to bring them back to uh, bring them back to life. Um, I've got a bit of knocking on one of these cleats here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a bit of loctite uh, on that particular screw there so generally i'm just going to give them a bit of tlc um what i might as well do now is is um just crack on with that uh so let's clear the way a little bit move these out of the way and let's start to disassemble so uh, first things first is to take <laughs> take out that six mil uh, retaining bolt. Um, I have actually done a bit of a TLC video on these particular pedals uh, before. You can view that here. Um, what I'm going to do now is obviously take these apart and then show you guys um, what. Uh, we're also going to need a spanner, guys, for this uh, end, <clears throat> which is going to be not that one, this one, which is a 17mm spanner. So I know you guys are all uh, sort of gadget. Um, gadget mad like me and new tools and bits and pieces at the same time as buying this particular kit i bought this little ratchet set uh it's only a lifeline one but um looks quite good actually so what i'm going to do is just drop the spanner on that end a little ratchet on that end and <laughs> don't even need the ratchet to be fair it's uh, that will just unscrew like that. We'll get that out in a sec. And there you go. So that's that's quite interesting actually. We've got a bit of dirt that's gone past the bush in there, and then we've got some lovely fresh grease. So that particular that end where the um, don't know whether we're going to be able to push that out. That end where the bearing is yeah the bearing's just coming out look is he's got some lovely clean clean grease on so at least we know that the sort of the maintenance that we did last time round has uh 
has stayed actually and has stood us in good stead it's looked after our bearing uh, in this instance it's the actual bushing that's uh, that, that's gone um, so let's just have a look and see how we can get that bushing out I think I did this on the last video I can't quite remember um, do is get a little pick see whether that will just come out simply Doesn't want to come out. I'll have a little play with that and get that out off camera and then tell you guys how I did it. Uh, there's actually this goes straight through, so there's no way of getting a drift in there or anything to get that out. There is, if you have a look at these these bushings, there is a um, a crack in them there, so I should be able to get them out without too much trouble. Um, just give it one more try while you guys are on the uh, while you guys are on there. I'm just looking at my tools here to see what I've got. Someone's just wants a. And then just to flick that out. So I'll be back in a sec. What I've just managed to do basically is get the bushing out. Here we go. There we go. It's pretty dry um, in there. Uh, maybe that's why it wasn't coming out as easy as it should have done. Needed a bit of lube. Um, the way I got that out basically was this is a sleeve anchor bolt. Um, I basically with the bushing in, um, popped that in, uh, pulled the uh, anchor bolt through the sleeve, which basically grabbed hold of the sleeve and, and just plucked it out. Now, if you haven't got one of those, uh, or can't get hold of one of those, um, it's going to be pretty difficult to get that out. Um, I tried to uh, tap it out from this side um, to no avail. Uh, it was it was quite stuck in. But if if I can just show you how um, I did that, basically just like this. Pop that through there. Track the bolt through the sleeve and it starts to whoa nearly knock my beer over or in fact very nearly knock my beer over um there you can see the the, the actual bushing has come out uh, on the sleeve anchor so in principle that's how you get it out um i can't think of a better way of doing that without the appropriate tool uh there's probably a nuke proof tool that you can buy for I don't know, 10 or 15 quid, 20 quid to do the job. But um, I managed to get it out. It wasn't that much hard work, to be fair. Um, pretty effortless once uh, once I'd fathomed how to do it. Um, so, right, that's all of the internals out of there. Um, what we need to do next is uh, use a T10. I'm going to pop this in the impact driver just for speed. T10, there we go. Uh, star fitting just to take these wear brackets off. Now, pay attention when you're doing this to how these are actually fitted. Um, just get get a little pry bar underneath those so that was actually that way around you can see the way that they go because the heads are countersunk so I'll get a new one of those it's not going to be that one because that's the opposite 
that's that side so these you'll find are handed um, as is everything with a pedal so uh, let's just pop that on a couple of new bolts one there and one there and be really careful when you're putting these back on if you're using an impact driver uh, not to cross thread starting off gently going quite nicely and that in principle is how you do those uh, I won't bore you with all the others I'll go offline do those and come back uh, when those okay. are finished right all of those are on now um, pretty simple to do uh, they just clipped in um, you have to make sure you squeeze them into the cleat uh, but yeah all of, all of those are done now so that's uh, I'll put that with all the old stuff over there um, all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the um, I'm going to get some grease a bit of you're going to use a bit of copper grease on this uh, no reason other than um, I've got it so just pop that in there and on the bushing make sure you pop it in the right side and <laughs> as simple as that it goes in uh, What I'm going to do is just drop the axle in and tap that home. Mm -hmm. I haven't quite gone in. There you go. You can see now there. I hope. Let me just get that right. There's a bit of delay on this viewfinder here. Uh, that is now home. Um, you can see because there's a little recess there and that recess houses this grommet stop all the muck and whatever you're going in right what I'm going to do now is use a bit of uh, grease just on the axle all over there. if you remember last time the grease that we put on um, held in there quite well I'll just slide that over the flange goes on the outside if I remember correctly and then that just pops home like that right and you can see there we're yet to put the bearing in put a bit more grease on this and we'll pop that over uh, again quite quite a loose fit that so ah uh, right okay then so My nut is still actually in the end of the socket there. So let's just tighten that up. nice and tight now obviously at this point you're going to think oh something's just not right there's loads of play in there this actual retaining bolt here is also a tensioning bolt um, I won't grease that because it's got a load of uh, Loctite already on there so let's just try and feed that on gently Thank you. 
Get that in with the six mil. There we go. Nice new new proof bearing. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely no play. As smooth as anything. It's amazing, actually, uh, how a worn bushing um, can change the performance of your pedal. Um, the bearing feels sweet in that as well. Um, only one thing left to do with this particular pedal, and that is, if you remember, I just want to bung. What I'm going to do is, just bear with me one second. Just going to grab a I think this is a two mil um, what I'm going to do is remember my settings but I'm going to back well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put that screw that grub screw through quite tightly so that's you can see there that's exposed so and get some lock type and I'm just going to bung a bit on there Not loads, just a little bit. Make sure I get it on the base because what I'm going to do now is get that Allen key again. Just back that off or back to its position where I had it before, which was to be quite honest on its lowest setting. Now remember. You have to do this on both sides. Which one does I just do? Yeah, too many beers here. Honest God, I've only had one. Um, right, so tighten that back through. Should maybe have cleaned this. Just pop a bit of Loctite onto the bottom of there. Where is it? There we go. And then just back that off I can see that's going round nicely and then look at my gauge on the bottom so that for me is pretty much as much as I'm gonna do um, in fact I may well uh, gonna need another island key for these I'm not going to insult you guys and back these uh, these little uh, grip screws out and install those show you how to do them um, I'm sure you know how to do that uh, but that is the new proof um, horizon chromo CS pedal um, basically running like new um, so well worth 22 quid uh, that upgrade kit or that service kit so thanks a lot chain reaction cycles um, not gonna lie that bushing was a little bit difficult to get out however with a bit of ingenuity um like i said a sleeve anchor bolt just to pull that through you might find that yours is standing proud a little bit and you could get some long nose pliers on there and just pull it out if that's the case great i mean it took me a couple of minutes to work out how to do that but once i've done that the as you've seen the um the rest of the service or the install was an absolute doddle so that is running really really nice thanks for watching guys uh, give me a thumbs up or a like if you like the video pop any comments uh, below anything else you'd like to see